Hi guys, welcome to the VST channel here. Some exciting news. Samsung has released and updated Good Guardians. And what this only means for us guys, yeah, we're gonna get an updated memory guardian. We're gonna get an updated battery guardian, also Galaxy A Booster. But very important, new features in Thermal Guardian and also the Media Guardian, right? So let's deep dive together with you. And before we do this, yeah, just please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let's start but what is the deal with good gardens why is this such an important piece of software and if you're asking this question and you don't know the answer most probably you're not really subscribed for my channel unless you would have known but hey you can always change this and fix this so good guardian is really a very essential piece of software as it helps your phone stay optimized this version right now is 3016 from 17th of february and yeah plenty of new things here let's take a closer look at the change log media file guardian is now added from one ui 40 thermal guardian adds more features additional settings and restricted apps and we are going to be testing this memory garden also adds more features customized tab and then we have all the things from the previous change log now what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna hit the update buttons i'm gonna update the good guardian the battery guardian the galaxy app booster the memory garden the thermal garden and we're gonna be checking the new things in this video so without any further ado let's start the way the update goes it's very easy guys we always need to just press here right um yeah up and running this is by the way the samsung galaxy app store right so just don't wonder where i'm getting those things right how you can access this on your phone you need to search for an icon called galaxy store inside guys right you should go just to the apps right it's not so straightforward so go to the apps you'll not see anything click the hamburger menu click on the updates and there you'll be able to find all of these goodies and just take a look on how many other apps updates are waiting for me and my next video but now back to galaxy good guardians the first time you start good guardians you're gonna get this message here that the good guardians agent saves your device memory if good guardians and inner apps don't work properly so of course we need to press the update button and make sure that we get really the latest version so the good guardians is actually like a good luck so it's a manager for all the modules good luck is the manager for all the good luck modules well we have nice sketch where we have one hand operation sound ui and good guardians is the manager for all these goodies here we have the battery tracker we have the battery garden we have the galaxy app booster the thermal guardian memory guardian and etc now see here guys i have updated several of those items and i need to tap the item to finish the installation so let's start with battery garden okay i am tapping it installed let's tap also the galaxy up booster right once you do this guys you go back it's gonna get installed i have now updated everything but i do believe there is a problem with samsung change lock see here guys they claim that in the latest thermal garden version there are two new features additional settings and restricted up right so i really have the latest version of the applications i am able to set my temperate thresholds and also understand all the reasons for let's say high battery consumptions like this here and of course i can go also and check my cpu usage and it's really a very very useful tool but i don't have these new things maybe they are just released for the new s22 series devices or for some other reason you know samsung has messed up with change lock it is same also with the memory guardian when you click on the good guardians from samsung galaxy store in the change lock for memory garden you're going to see a new feature it's the customized tab all right so i really made sure to install the latest and see here guys when i open the memory garden i'm not able to see this new customized tab i still have the old tabs that were there before so here right now we can just see i have the monitor and i do have also the history when i go here i have the excluded apps and the tips and I, when i click on the about it's really the latest version so it's either samsung messed up with the change log or these new things are only released for the new s22 series and i also try to clear the cache and the storage but hey this video is not for nothing guys we still have the media file garden which was not present there in one ui4 and that's a very useful tool short demo for the media file garden you can use it to check and delete original files for edited versions and make sure that you're not really wasting on your storage space you can set date for missing date media files which is actually important if you want to stick with things like this you can also scan and sync your media files so check for invalid file names sync missing files for media database and 
and very important guys you can clean now temporary files okay but yeah let me just show you the real thing i'm going to open the media file garden right now this is how it looks like you have scan media files you have temporary files and you have original files for edited versions now let me just open this picture for example right these are the original files for edited versions Click the file to check edited version. So I'm going to open this picture, guys, and I can now see the picture and also the related files. I can decide to only keep one. Same story here, guys. I do have this picture twice, and unless I don't want them or need them, I can just remove them. All right. Let's just scan the media files right now. It will take some time. Program will actually scan for invalid media files. Scan now has been complete. The sync media file count is 501, and this is very good to make sure all your files are running intact they have correct file names so that let's say when you transfer them back and forth you will not encounter any problems and now last but not least guys temporary files i have five files media files that have stopped working and expired i press clean now guys boom i don't really need to think about this anymore and final thing here missing date these 2000 files with missing dates are some screenshots or let's say files that I've downloaded from the internet and where I do not have any date information. Of course, I can just press edit there and I can apply a date. Now, this is here a very trendy picture, by the way. Right now, you know, this file is no longer showing the list because this file now has a complete date. So, guys, this has been all the updates into the latest good garden go download it all right one thing i'm not going to show in this video galaxy app booster absolutely essential every time you do update your firmware go inside and optimize everything right just click here optimize now right wait a bit and you're going to get one of the best results from the one ui experience which we know sometimes is a bit chunky and laggy all right now take your time to consider subscribing for my channel please you and your family stay safe and we're gonna catch up in one of my next videos with that said vst over it bye